السلام علیکم بردر اینڈ سسٹرس اینڈ فرینڈس آئی ہوپ ایوری ون از فائن وتھ دا بلیسنگ آف آل مائی اللہ سو ود آؤٹ اینی ڈلے لیٹ اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو ایز یو کین ٹیل فرام دا ٹائٹل آف دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو آسک اے کوشچن ناٹ اے کنفیوزنگ کوشچن اے سمپل کوشچن اینڈ نو مسلم آن دا پلانٹ ناٹ دا لیسٹ ناٹ دا گریٹسٹ ول بی ایبل ٹو آنسر اٹ In fact, I'm so confident that no Muslim will be able to answer my easy, straightforward question that I hereby oh. vow that I will record myself bowing down and reciting the Shahada if a single Muslim can answer it. Muslims, where does Allah declare unequivocally in the Quran that the text of the gospel has been corrupted? Give us one unequivocal statement from Allah in the Quran saying that the text of the Injil, the gospel, has been corrupted. If you can give us one unequivocal statement from Allah in the Quran saying that the text of the gospel has been corrupted, again, I will record myself bowing down and reciting the Shahada. I want to the question the best Doctor last the question. Nike video and he said that in my talk, for example, I mentioned it. that Abraham had another wife by the name of Sarah. May peace be upon them. How did I come to know from the Bible? So he's asking me that many things of Islam, the similarities in the Old Testament, Now, when we go to the New Testament, how do I pick and choose? Why don't mm. I believe in the writers? Brother, anything, whether it's part of the Old Testament or New Testament, whether it's part of a Hindu scripture or any other scripture, I, as a Muslim, I consider, as far as I'm concerned, I'll come up with the others later on. As far as I, as a Muslim, is concerned, this Quran is my Furqan. Furqan is the criteria to judge right from wrong. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Balliku anni walau aya. Propagate even if you know one verse. And there is no problem if you quote from the scriptures of the Ahli Kitab. Now, as far as the scriptures of the Jews and Christians are concerned, there are mm, three rules to yes. be followed. Rule number one, if it matches with the Quran, we have got no objection in accepting that portion to be the word mm. of God. Point number one. Point number two, if it goes against the Quran, we reject it. It cannot be the word of God. Irrespective of who wrote it, Paul, Matthew, Mark, John, whoever. Rule number one, if it matches with the Quran, because this has been proved mm. to be the word of God as far as we are concerned. Scientifically, everything. Even a logical person, if he finds out this is the word of God, and then if he compares, whatever matches with the thing which has been proved, like this is our yeah. ruler. You know, we have a measuring tape. Once it has been confirmed this is correct, then we use this as a furqan, as our mizan. So what is there in the Old Testament, New Testament, Buddhist scripture, Hindu scripture, what matches with the Quran? We have got no mm. objection accepting that the word of God. What is contrary to the Quran and the Sahih Hadith, we reject it. It can't be true. Now what is... not matching with the Quran, but not even contradictory, it is optional. You want an optional? Optional means may be right, may be wrong. So those things which are mentioned in the Bible, Old and New Testament, which match with the Quran is mm. what I quoted today. Yeah. 100%. We have got no objection in accepting this portion of the word of God. There are many things which go against the Quran, which I can give a talk on differences between Islam and Christianity. There are certain things which are optional. Neither go against the Quran, is neither yes. matching with the Quran. So these portions which is neither going against the Quran or matching with the Quran are optional for us. So those writings which go against the Quran, I cannot accept the word of God. So all those authors of the New Testament which go against the teachings of the Quran, mm. I reject it. What matches, I say can be the word of God. What doesn't match, neither goes against, is optional. As far as a non-Muslim is concerned, we use yeah. logic. If you keep the Quran aside, today, due to the advancements of science and technology. Today, the age of science and technology. Now, if you use a yastik of science and technology to the Bible. Brothers and sisters, if you are enjoying today's video, then it's a request to you guys. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So whenever our new video will be published, you will get its notification first. So let's continue watching today's video. You will find hundreds of mistakes about the creation hmm. of the universe as a mistake. The Bible says, As I mentioned earlier, that Almighty God in Genesis chapter 1 verse number 16-19, He created two great lights, mm. the greater light the sun to rule the day, the lesser light the moon to rule the night. So moon doesn't have a light of its own, it's a contradiction, yeah. it's a scientific error. There are various such errors, various. Only in Genesis chapter number 1, you can find plenty errors. There are mathematical contradictions, there are scientific errors, there is obscenity. So leave aside Quran, even if a normal human being who keeps his mind open and reads we can surely not agree this portion can surely not mm, be the word of god exactly if there are scientific errors if there are contradictions if there's pornography any normal human being who has an open mind will never accept this thing to be the word of god the remaining things becomes optional so this is what we use brother as a strategy to identify so a student of comparative religion 
whenever he picks up a scripture, he uses the strategy and he tries and reads mm. the scripture and then he analyzes how good, how authentic is the scripture, brother. So this is what we use with the Bible also. You find there are many errors, there are many contradictions. Even if you don't have the Quran, a normal human being cannot accept mm. this to be the word of God as a whole. But because Quran says that there was a revelation given to JSK, peace be upon him, what we say, that portion which matches with the Quran, we have got yeah. no objection accepting as the word of God. Hope that answers the question, brother. It partly answers the question. The point I was trying to get to was about sin and the devil. The point I made was in the Islamic mm. literature I was given, there was barely any reference to sin, the forgiveness of sin, the condemnation that we would all feel if we had no way to be forgiven for our sin. This was one part of the question. Yes, therefore one question at a time, it will be better. Yes. As you told that you gave a short speech, I was trying to yes, mm. cover as much as I could. I apologize for my no long problem, question. No problem, brother. So brother, that was a question that the literature that was given to him, that literature did not contain sin. So I don't know which literature was given to you. But if you read the Quran, the Quran also yeah. speaks about sin. It speaks about hell. It speaks about punishment. Now the literature that was given to you may be a particular topic. Like today's talk, I never spoke about sin because the topic was similarity mm -hmm. between Islam and Christianity. But I've given other talks which speak about sin. So the literature that was given to you, brother, was maybe dealing in a particular specialized subject. It may not be dealing with sin. But to say that Islam doesn't speak about sin is wrong. So Quran, like the Bible, speaks about sin. But the difference in the Bible and the Quran, what the church teaches about the original sin, yes. Quran doesn't believe in that. Which I gave the answer earlier, which I don't intend repeating, that nowhere does the Bible speak about the original sin. It is the teaching of the church. So Quran does not speak about original sin. And like the Bible, as the Bible says in Ezekiel chapter number 18, verse number 20, that the soul that sin shall die. The father shall not bear the iniquity of the son, neither shall the son bear the iniquity of the father. The righteous of the righteous shall be upon him, the wicked of the wicked shall be upon him. Similarly, the Quran says, no bearer of burden can bear the yes. burden of others. If you commit a sin, you will be responsible. No one else can bear the burden. So Quran also speaks about reward, speaks about punishment, speaks about sin, various things. In my talk, mm. though I didn't mention the sin, but indirectly I did mention also about sin. If you have alcohol, it's a sin. If you have pork, it's a sin. If you do adultery, it's a sin. But I was speaking in the positive aspect. Don't have alcohol. Don't have pork. Don't do adultery. So even the Quran speaks about sin. Yeah. Hope that answers the question, brother. Brothers and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you like the answers of Dr. Zatir Naik because Dr. Zatir Naik always give answers according to Quran and Hadith and I hope you have watched his video till end. So in the first part of today's video, we have watched a video of a Christian man and he was on the podcast and you can see in the video that he was challenging Muslims and Muslim scholars and he also said that no any scholar of Islam is able to answer my questions because my question is very technical and important. So if anyone will answer from Muslims, I will accept Islam after listening this answer. And guys, you can see that he was openly challenging Muslim scholars and we decided to add his video with the video of Dr. Zatar Naik. So I hope after watching this video, he will accept Islam because Dr. Zatar Naik gave his answers according to Quran and his religion's book from Bible. And you can see in the video of Dr. Zatar Naik, same kind of question was asked to him and how beautifully Dr. Zatar Naik gave the answer. And after listening the answer, that Christian man got satisfied from Dr. Zatar Naik. So guys, what do you think about today's video? Do you think that Dr. Zatar Naik gave his answer or not? Please let us know by giving your comments below. And if you are satisfied with the answers of Dr. Zatar Naik, then it's a request to you guys. Please share this video with your friends and family members so they can get benefit from it and other requests. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so whenever a new video will be published you will get its notification first. So see you guys in next video till then Allah Hafiz.